Welcome to the District Update, where we speak with the guest about important issues happening at Garden City Public Schools. Our guest for this edition of the District Update is Alice Hilt, drama and speech teacher at Garden City High School. And welcome to the District Update, Alice. Thank you, Roy. It's nice to be here. And coming up, the Garden City High School Drama Department is currently taking season ticket subscriptions until November 8th. Can you tell us about these subscriptions? Absolutely. Um, it's something new that we're doing this year. And basically, we started it last spring, and the cost is $15 per uh, subscription. And the subscriptions are for adults or for students. Uh, we are raising our ticket prices this year, so it's actually going to save people more money than it might have last year. So it's actually going to save you $25 for adult tickets and $5 for student tickets. And you can get those uh, by going to gchsbooktix.com, or you can link to our Facebook page, which is Garden City High School Drama, and all of the links are there. All right. The upcoming play will be In the Heights that will be presented at Garden City High School in November. Can you tell us about the play and the dates and times that it will be taking place? Absolutely. Um, the play is about a vibrant community in New York City, and it's a modern show with a modern soundtrack. It's got rap music and hip-hop, and it's really fun, and, and a, there's a whole lot of uh, dance to it. And this community is made up of a lot of people from all over the world, um, a highly Latino community, which is very much like Garden City. And so we're really excited to be able to present something that the students really are connecting with and really enjoying. And I think that the community will really enjoy it as well. And could you give us the dates and times of oh, the play? Uh, yes, the dates are November 10th and 11th at 7.30 and November 11th and 12th at 2.30. Now, you have a project that goes along with the upcoming play. Can you tell us about this project? Yes, it's called the Hundreds of Stories Project. And what we're asking for is submissions of people to tell their stories, what brought them to Garden City, what's made them stay here, what makes Garden City a wonderful place to be. Those are some of the themes of the show is, you know, finding your place in the world, finding your home, and what it is that draws us together and, and makes us stronger as a unit. Now, I know you're looking for items that need to be donated as props for the play. Can you tell us what you're looking for and the items that you need to be donated? So we have to create an entire store. Um, there's a corner bodega that is owned by one of the characters in the show. And so we're looking for any and all uh, products that might be used in a corner store like that, especially advertisements. Um, they can be in Spanish uh, or they can be in English. Both are perfectly OK. Um, and we are also looking for items that might be sold in the store, so like cereal boxes, and they can be empty, uh, cans of soda, um, bottles, those kind of things. Um, and also like display carts that might have had uh, items in them, especially if they came from, you know, some convenience stores, those kind of things. That's what that's the kind of thing that we're looking for specifically. Uh, we also have a salon. Luckily, we have a few businesses in town that are helping us out with that a little bit. But uh, you know, some salon products and those kind of things that would be in the salon next door. Now, the school has a number of plays that are scheduled to be presented during the school year. Can you tell us about the plays that would be presented and coming up? So we have In the Heights first, which is in November, 10th, 11th, and 12th. And then in December, we have Alice in Wonderland, which is the first show for our advanced repertory theater class. So it's a class that we were doing two shows in this year, and that's our first one. And it will be, uh, gosh, the end of December, December 15th, 16th, and 17th, I believe. No, 14th, 15th, 16th, maybe. Um, and then we have Peter and the Star Catcher, which is in February. It'll be. Uh, mid-February and then our final show will be uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella which is our musical in our advanced repertory theater class which will be the first weekend of April. And uh, you're looking for sponsorships for the drama program. Can you tell us about the sponsorships that you're looking for? Yes, we're looking for local businesses that might be willing to sponsor us. We have various levels um, from 250 all the way to $25 and there are different packages and you can get free tickets for that, as well as advertising for your business. And all you have to do is contact me, um, Alice Hilt, A. Hilt, at gckschools.com, and I'll send out the information to you. Now, you've started a junior drama club at Garden City High School. Can you tell us about this club and what it does? Yeah, we meet on Mondays. Right now, this semester, we're building skills, and so we've done some 
activities uh, so far as far as some acting skills. We're also going to be building some tech skills. Like next week, they're going to start doing some makeup, and the week after that, they're going to be doing some sewing. It's basically an exploration into the world of theater. And then hopefully next semester, we'll be able to do some kind of a production. We're working on raising the funds to be able to do that in that group. I know that we've covered a lot in our time together. Is there anything else that you would like to add before we go? Um, I think that we try to provide a really great experience for our audiences, and I think that they'll enjoy every single production, and, and hopefully you can all come out and see our shows. And we've been speaking with Alice Hilt, drama and speech teacher at Garden City High School. And thank you for watching the District Update, where we speak with the guest about important issues happening at Garden City Public Schools. I'm Roy Cessna. Have a great day.